Hey guys, welcome back to another 7 day makeup tray. Um, I'm going to go over the products from last week's tray and then fill up a new tray like I usually do. Um, if you see a catch, uh, if you catch a glimpse of me in the mirror, I'm pretty burnt because I went to the beach and I didn't put on sunscreen as many times as I should have. So just letting you know that. Okay, start with eyeshadows. I had a bunch in here. Start with the two palettes from Ruby Kisses. The first one is called The Daily Life, and they're both part of the Dear Diary series. This is not one to open. Ugh. I did use a decent amount of the shadows in here. Not as many as I would have liked from this palette, but I knew I wasn't going to use this palette a whole lot. Um, the other palette, Sunset Kiss, is the one that I knew I would use a lot more. It's just more of a me palette. Ugh. And I did, and I... I really do like this palette a lot. <laughs> it's really pretty. So those two palettes will be in a a uh, Beauty on a Budget video coming very soon. Um, let's skip the glitters and go over here. I have the Naked Cosmetics. It is a um, it is a I think it's basically like a loose pigment. This is in Desert Sunset. And it was very pretty. I did wear it. Very, very pretty product. I have two products here. I did not wear either one of the... Actually, eat any of these because I had so many other products. So I didn't wear the Meech and Mia shadow. I didn't wear the Espionage Cosmetics shadow in Mrs. Reynolds. I didn't wear that yet. And I also did not wear the Sleepy Fox shadows. Uh, Moon Moon's... Halo, uh, sorry, Moon's Halo shadow yet. I did use all of these again, and these are my three um, shimmer eye pigments from War Baby Cosmetics, and you can use the code BOMB, BOMB GIRL, BOMB GIRL for, I think, 20% off. So I had Unicorn, Silk Stockings, and Life's a Beach, and I used a lot of each of them, as you can see. Glitters. I don't think besides one day I really wore the glitters a whole lot. Um, I did wear, I believe, this one. Um, but I, for the rest of them I didn't really use them. Because I was so busy trying to use all my shadows up. And then for these, I didn't use any of those this week. Okay. Uh, mascara. I had this in there. For blush, I used the Nor the Nors the Nors the Nars Orgasm blush that I got from Ulta. Look at the little baby mirror that I got from Ulta, and it is a very pretty blush. It's really nice. I really like it. Um, I did almost use up my contour shade from the Light Up Your Face Luminizer Palette by Essence. Really like that contour. And then I used um, a decent amount of the highlighters from uh, Touch of Glam Beauty. Uh, I'm bringing it back. Touch of Glam Beauty is the top row. Uh, Kristen Lay Cosmetics is these two. Devena Cosmetics is over here. And the bottom four are from Pretty Sphere Face. As you see, this is a new edition I got. So now there's another one in there. Okay, guys, I'm going to fill up the tray and I will be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I filled up the tray. Um, it is a pretty heavy Sparrow Cosmetics tray, just letting you know. Okay, let's start with eyeshadows. I did not put any base palettes in because I have enough base shades from Sparrow Cosmetics to do the base of my look. So this, I have two different trays for Sparrow Cosmetics. This first tray is like the browns and a gold, so it's mostly browns. As you can see, there's a lot of shades for like transition shades, etc. And then I have this one, which is more of the crazy fun colors. So let me open that. So we've got our pinks and our oranges and our blues and our reds, and we got some greens. So we got that all filled up. That'll be for our fun crazy days. For mascaras, I actually have in two. I have in the Colossal Volume Express non-waterproof and then the waterproof. So we're going to try it. Then for contour. I put in the same contour from last week, 
because I feel like I'm just about to use it up and I want to finish it before I move on to any other ones. So we're going to finish this up this week. Then I have three blushes from Elemental Beauty. I reviewed them, um, I think last year. Either last year, yeah, it had to have been last year. Um, and I have Antique Rose, which is this really pretty one here. Rosy Apple, which is more, it's a, like a blush illuminator. This one's definitely a blush. And then Opalescent, or Opalescent, which is definitely like more like a highlighter, but I like it as a blush topper. And then for highlighters, I put back in the same one from last tray. So we got some Touch of Glam Beauties, some Kristen Lay Cosmetics, Dominic Cosmetics, and then the bottom row is Pretties for Your Face. So I'm going to fill up the tray, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, I had a lot of difficulty <laughs> trying to make this um, the two palettes sit in the tray comfortably. Um, Z palettes don't stack well in this tiny little tray, but um, whatever, I'm keeping all the products in there. So, yeah, I am excited to use these products. Hopefully, I wear makeup a little more than last week. I think I did it like three or four times last week, and I want to do a little more this coming week. So I will see you guys soon, and this is Megan Hill out.